Well, it's what you've all been waiting for. You want questions answered, and I got over a hundred questions sent to me. And I've got the list on the computer right up there, and I'm just checking them out now. There's a lot I don't want to answer, to be truthful, but I did promise that I would uh, answer truthfully questions. Um, it's going to be a long bit because I've got a lot of questions that, um, yeah, that's been posted. So, anyways, th we'll start with the first one. Why are you single? Well, <laughs> that's a million questions into one, is it? I'm single because I feel like that there's no one good enough for me here where I live. I feel like that if I'm going to even look at being in a relationship, the person has to at least, you know, tick a few boxes. Like, I don't want to date a druggie. I don't want to date, like, a single mum that, you know, doesn't work, doesn't drive. You know, I want someone that is faithful and honest. Um, I prefer no kids due to the fact that I don't want to deal with those kids' father. Like, always coming back in and out of their lives, I suppose. But... Yeah, that, that's pretty much, like, why I'm single. Like, I don't want to be a burden to anybody, and I don't really want a relationship anymore. I'm quite happy being single, where I have the freedom to dress the way I want, talk to whoever I want, and it's just, it's really good on my mental health being single, honestly. I've had opportunities of not being single, but those people haven't been good enough for me. So, that's why I'm staying single. Because I just don't think anyone's good enough for me. Next question is, are you currently or love someone right now? Uh, see, when it comes to previous relationships, I've only loved one person. That was my fiance of six years. Um, I will say that there's a part of me that loves who she is. I have no idea if she's still the same person I fell in love with years ago, but except for, you know, obviously loving my Lord God, Lord Jesus, and loving my parents and my dog, I there is some special people in my life. There's one in England that I love with all my heart. She knows that I'd be there for her and her kid if I had the choice. There's a few American girls that I'm pretty cool with wouldn't say in love with, but cool with. Like, I'm in love with the one in England, obviously. And as for anyone I'm in love with here, there is there is one that I've been friends with for a very long time, but I feel like a relationship even with her wouldn't work. Don't forget me wrong, she's very attractive, but we both hang around different sorts of environments. And I feel like... Even though I'm good enough for her, I'll always feel like that I'm not the sort of guy that she would want. But I'm happy that she's in my life. Next question. Is there any... <laughs> oh, God. Is there anyone you hate with a passion right now? Do we just let the elephant out of the room? It's pretty fucking obvious who I hate. My ex and the person she's with. I hate them with a passion. I wish nothing but bad stuff happened to them. I still can't believe that they would try break up our family. They would try ruin our lives and make up malicious lies. And yeah, I, I can't forgive or for, forgive them. I can't ever not hate them. I think they're the purity of evil, the both of them. I think they have, they have no compassion for anyone but themselves. I don't even think they love each other, to be honest. I think it's just... I think it's convenience. Because I know what true love is, and what I see in that is not true love. And, you know, they say everybody deserves to be in love and all that, but I don't think deep down it's a real love. And that's all I'm going to say at that subject. Your fiance of six years meant a lot to you. What would you think she'd be doing today? Last time I heard, she's still with her partner. And I wish them both the best. Nothing but the best. 
She deserves true happiness. She deserves to be treated with love and respect. You know, I, I do wish that that chapter was closed in my life and we could make peace. Because I, I feel like she could be a very good friend to the family because my mum and dad absolutely adored her. So I, I would love for her to be in our lives, just even as friends. But, um, yeah, the ship has set sailed on that one. I did take her advice and I've become a better person in the last four years. So I've, I got to me, I have her to thank for me being a better person, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Do you think that people that have broken up with someone could ever get back together if, if, if they truly love each other? Well, as an ex once said to me, quote a line from one of her favourite movies, if there's love, there's always a way. If there's love, dear, there's always a way. And I find out that even if you love someone, you can't think that, you know, if you guys break up, it's the end. You always linger to that hope that maybe you'll get back together down the track. The problem is, if you love someone, are they the same person you loved four years down the track? Are they the same, you know, you can't expect the person you fell in love with to be that same person because people change over the years. Now, do I think my ex of six years loves me? She hates me. And she has every reason to. But I know that in one point she did love me and maybe somewhere in subconsciously in her heart, there's still me there. I mean, you just can't throw away six years no matter how bad someone treats you. But um, I guess if you broke up once or twice, there's a reason. And if you find that reason then break up again for a totally different reason, you've got to cut the line somewhere. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. As they say in the Babe movie, you've just got to accept the way things are the way things are. And you know, everything dies. So does love. What is the one thing you hate about women? You can't really narrow it down to one thing, can you? I hate druggies. I have absolutely hate druggies with a passion. I hate cheaters. I hate liars and manipulators. I hate how women can target guys and use it to their advantage. So a girl would only date a guy if she's got nowhere else to go. Or she'll only date a guy if it benefits her in some ways. So, yeah. And most of the women I've dated over the years have only wanted to use me because I had money or, or a place to stay or a car or something. I hate that. When it comes to cheating, what's your opinion on that? And does violence solve anything? Well, after a lot of people this that have... Uh, you know, we've all been cheated in life. We've, we've, we've all been cheated on in life. Alright? I feel like being cheated on, it sucks. Don't get me wrong. But it's a learning curve. It wasn't meant to be. And if that person's willing to cheat on you, hey, thank good, good it happened early. Before you settled down or had kids. Now, if they've cheated on you and you've already had kids with them and you're married, then you're fucked. Obviously. But... Cheating, as long as you're not the culprit, then they weren't meant to be with you. And cheating is one of those things where, hey, look, if you're not doing something in a relationship, instead of cheating on the partner, just break up and be with the person you want to fuck. You know what I mean? Or hook up with. No need to, you know, test the playing fields. It's like when someone says, you know, if you were single, would you go out with me while they're still in a relationship? Oh, I hate that. Because that's an indication of like, they're testing like, oh, if I break up with this person, there's always this person on the side. Yeah, it's disgusting behavior, but it happens a lot. Um, now, does a violence solve anything? No. Look, if the, if the bitch or bastard cheats on you, 
what's violence going to do? Get you in trouble at the end of the day. It sucks. If you want to take your anger out, go fucking punch a tree or go punch a wall. Away from the person. You know? Even if you hate the person, say you're a guy and your missus goes and fucks another guy. You know, even if he knows that, you know, she's yours and he's still doing it. At the end of the day, there's no point hitting him because it's going to happen back to him. She'll probably do the exact same thing to him. So, let karma sort itself out. Are you happy with life at the moment? Me? (laughs) No. I will straight out say that I am not fucking happy. I, um... I appreciate what I have in life. I'm very grateful for what my parents have done for me. I am very grateful for what my Lord God, Lord Jesus has done for me. I'm happy to have what I have in front of me and in my room and in life, obviously. But, um, you know, like I said, death's one sort of thing that um, is inevitable. And I've had too many friends die recently that I care about and... You know, I'm only around because my parents are around. If they weren't around, I wouldn't be here. Because mentally, I can't cope. And that's the honest truth. Is there any violence in your path from what you've done to someone? Yes. I wasn't a nice guy in my younger days. Especially at 19, I was a rebel. I didn't give a fuck who I hurt, male or female. I didn't give a fuck who I offended. Which is not much different now, but I just don't use my hands. I am a sort of guy that um, is very passionate. I um, I do have a loose cannon about me. I do have a demon in me. I try not to bring it out, but when it comes out, I'm a fucking disgusting human being. I'll be straight out honest, I'm a disgusting human being that I've learned to deal with. And I feel like I've learned to deal with it when it does come out the first thing you do when your demon comes out of you you get the fuck away from as many people as you can and go somewhere to cool down and you put some music on you go for a drive in your car and you just mellow out other things is get off Facebook get off Instagram get off all these social medias to give your head a rest because if you're on social media every day your brain's going to be fried so that's why I feel like you know The younger part of me is improved over the last few years because I've done stuff to deal with it. And because also, because of my BPD, I overreact to things. I take things too much to heart. But I haven't always been a nice person. I can say in my whole life I've been an abuser, a cheater, a liar, a minister to society. You know, I've not been perfect. But I've made mistakes and, you know, karma got me back a few times. But I can safely say now I'm a better person because I learned by my mistakes. Will I keep making mistakes? Of course. Everyone's going to make mistakes. No one in life is meant to be perfect. But, you know, there are other ways to deal with people. And you've got to do it in in a mature manner. What is the most disgusting thing that's on your mind right now? Well, I brought it up in this video that a certain relationship is absolutely making me disgusted right now. Because it's a fake relationship. It's not love. It's just fucking disgusting. Um, The controversial topics about the Olympics that I'll discuss in another video, I'll go in depth with that one. I just won't go in depth too much on this. All I'm going to say is the one thing that should be pointed out that they let a convicted rapist the guy from the Netherlands volleyball team be allowed to not only fly to to Paris but to compete in the Olympics. At 19, he was convicted of raping a 12-year-old, meeting her online, getting her drunk and raping her. He was supposed to do four fucking years. He got one. How he's allowed, number one, to compete in the Olympics but number two, how did he even get into France? With the laws over there. To me, that's disgusting. And the other thing that makes me so dis- disgusted right now, and there'll be a link in this, is the attempt on the Donald Trump assassination. At the end of the day, whether you like the guy or not, 
He has family. He has kids. And there was people in the crowd that day. Imagine if that shot didn't miss. Kids were in the front row. They would have been covered in his blood. His brain matter. You think that's cool. You think that's funny. No, that's not funny. That's disgusting. An innocent man died protecting his wife and kid that day. You find that funny? Whether you like the guy or not, an innocent person died in the crowd. And to think, you know, the person that they assassinated that attempted to kill him may not have even been the person. So, and the fact that they could have stopped at any time. Police saw the person up on the building. They saw him up there with a gun. The FBI saw it. But no, they couldn't do anything until the guy took a shot. And now an innocent person is dead. So a wife and kid don't see their husband and father grow up. That's fucked. That makes me so sick. What do you miss currently at the moment in life? Um, I don't miss being in a relationship, that's for sure. I miss just having someone to cuddle up to, watch a movie... You know, have a bit of fun here and there. Because I'm the sort of guy that loves kisses. I love sex. I can live without sex, but I'm the sort of guy that enjoys life more when I have more sex. I've had a lot of offers for sex this year. And I've turned it down due to the fact that, number one, I'm not attracted to them in that way. But also the fact that they're the nastiest of women. They're druggies. They're fucking filthy. And I... Do not want to put my thing in that. And that's being completely honest. So yeah, I do miss, you know, cuddling up, watching a movie with someone. I mean, I, I actually asked a, f- a friend the other day, you know, and she's all cool about going on dates and cuddling up and watching movies. So that's that's pretty cool. We've done that a few times. So, what? football team in both English Premier League and Italian League do you go for? Well, since I was young for the English Premier League, I've always been a Manchester United fan. I love Manchester United. Uh, my favourite player of all time is Wayne Rooney. He, he was, to me, the most legendary of the game. I fucking hated Ronaldo playing for us. I love Van Persie, uh, Tevez, Charlton, you know, all the greats of Manchester United. I enjoy, I have like, because of my fiance, she got me a lot of uh, Manchester United jerseys, so pretty grateful to have them. Italian League, obviously it's Juventus, I've got the scarf right here, Juventus and Florentina. Uh, why Juventus and Florentina? So I followed uh, Gigi Buffon, uh, the goalkeeper for Italy's career, and he started off at Parma, but when he went moved to Juventus, I was like, well, this guy's the best goalkeeper in the world. When I saw him um, representing Italy, I was like, oh, yeah. And then you got the BBC, you know, Benucci, Cellini, you know, and Bazzagli with Buffon. That was like the main squad of Juventus, and that was like the main squad of Italy. So I love Juventus. I love their story. Um, <clears throat> Florentina, I just, I've always loved that team. I think it's a, Florence is a beautiful city in Italy. I... You know, I've always been a fan of them, so. Aussie rules football. Always been an Essendon supporter. Always been an Essendon supporter. I love Essendon. Um, since 92, 93, when we won a premiership back in 93. Um, and the Giants. And people say, why the Giants? Well, when the Giants first started in the Aussie rules football, their coach was Kevin Cheedy. And he used to be the coach of Essendon. Now... I was always going to follow the Giants because of Kevin Sheedy, but I, I just looked at the team and I was like, that's a pretty cool name. The Giants, I like the colours, the orange and the blue. I didn't like the fact that for a whole season we lost every game but one and we got thrashed. But I'm so proud of them now, seeing them, you know, they've played grand final. They're in the finals for this year. So I, I love that factor. What do you prefer playing at the moment? Xbox? PlayStation or Nintendo Switch? Well, I've got all of them. So, on the 
PlayStation, I will play Mortal Kombat, the new one. Uh, and Behind in the Season, so I've got to play that. Uh, FIFA, WE. I love playing the, uh, the PS5. The Nintendo, I play every so often. I play Pokemon Scarlet. It's a very exciting game. I play a bit of Mario on there as well. Um, Xbox, I haven't played for a while, to be honest. I've got a lot of games for the Xbox, but I haven't played it for a while. So I've got all the units here, but I like playing the PlayStation 5 lately. Last time I played Xbox, I played Diablo. Very, very good game, but very time-consuming. And I don't really know how to pass that too well. What's your opinion on the women in the boxing for the Olympics? Oh, God. I'm just going to sum this up because I've got an in-depth video about that subject. It's not the fact whether they're born male or female, even though one year ago they got suspended for, you know, having XY chromosomes. It's the fact that, that those two women have high testosterone level, which gives them an advantage over all the other women. And they're the two that won the gold because they have the high testosterone level. And I disagree with that. In any other sport, that's cheating. Because, like I said, they're going up against normal women, but those women that go up against them are going up against women that are equivalent to a woman on steroids. So that's what I'm going to say on that subject. We could go in depth and all that, but I'm not going to go in depth. Is there someone you want to get in a fist fight with? Well, until the, well where do I start? There's, there's two. There's two males in particular that have ruined parts of my life that I'm not happy with and I'm not a violent person but I would love at the end of the day for something to happen to those two like karma to get them back because I don't like the fact that their lies their way they conduct themselves is appropriate it is disgusting what they do to women it is disgusting what they do to other human beings and it's not fair that one of them can bully the fuck whoever they want and get away with it and cost them a career and then one of them can absolutely turn his back on his family for someone that's not even worth it what do you like to do in your spare time I like to play video games I like to watch the wrestling I watch WE, I watch TNA, I watch New Japan Pro Wrestling, I watch AEW. Uh, at the moment, I'm actually watching Mexican wrestling. So, I like my watch my wrestling. I love playing video games and stuff. I go out every night, play Pokemon Go. It's not so much to play the game. It's just to enjoy going out for drives. And, yeah, I, I love just going out for drives. Even if it's by myself, I love going for drives. Not allowed to say that name on you, but I, I get that question. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to translate this so I don't say the person's name. What's your thoughts on, I'm just gonna say that girl that destroyed your life. <sighs> My thoughts. It was a wake up call for anything. It made me realize that I didn't need that person in my life from day one. I guess that maybe I wasn't rescuing her. Maybe I was getting myself into a lot of stuff that I didn't need. Where there's, you know, it's a fake smile and a photo together. Whether it's the fact that the relationship that we had was a fake from day one. So I never loved her. And I don't honestly think she loved me. I think it was just convenient to her because I could drive, I had money, had a place to stay. And she took advantage of that. And knowing that there was red flags from day one with her and I ignored them, I got what I deserved in the end, you know. If you see red flags early in a relationship, Get the fuck out of it. Save yourself the drama. When friends tell you, you know, you can do better than this. And I know I could do better than a little stoner that doesn't do shit for her life. I know I could do better. 
I never loved her, I never had feelings for her. It was hard to fake it for a while, but it got easier. I think the last week I was like, I hope she gets the fuck out of here and just never comes back, to be, to be straight out honest. There was nothing I liked about her. You know, you wanted the honest truth in this video. There's nothing I liked about her. Sure, I loved when she dressed up. That was pretty hot. But I saw her as not a human being. I saw her as this evil person that like, would dig her claws right into your soul and your heart and rip it out. I didn't see a human being. And based on her past before me, I knew what I was getting myself into. It was a challenge. And I thought I could make her into a human being, but you can't turn a monster into a human being. Not if they want to put on a mask and not be themselves around you. I felt trapped. I felt like embarrassed to be seen with her. And the fact that you know, I've I've met pure liars in my time, but that was a that was a very bad liar. I would say she's the worst person I've ever met in my life, and I've met the worst of worst, and that person was the worst. What's the one thing you miss about sex? The one thing I miss about sex, I guess. Sex can turn someone from depressed to an animal, to happy, to powerful. Sex can turn someone from being angry to mellow and calm. So I guess that's what I miss. Like, you know, if you're, if you're fucking feeling really down and the miss is like, you want to have sex? Oh yeah, baby, let's go for it. It'd cheer you up. If you got anger and you want to get it out, sex helps that too. I, I, I miss finding a way to get it out, like the anger out of me, the depression out of me. So I guess that's why I miss sex. I, I miss spicing it up. Like for me, I can take a, I can take a good, like the amount of pain tolerance that I can take is unbelievable. Even someone I dated once said, you don't feel that pain. I'm like, not nah, when you're in the mood and you're the adrenaline running, you don't feel the pain. Whether it's, Someone clawing your back to a point that it's bleeding. To a point where your ass is so red from being spanked. Or the claw marks down your chest is starting to bleed. Oh my god, I've experienced all that. But um, I, I, that part I miss, just letting go. And someone says, what's more fun, having sex in a relationship or just with randoms? I'd say... Fuck, man, a relationship sex is so much better. Making love is amazing. Like, I I miss that factor, obviously. I like the kinkiness, but I do think I could live without sex, to be, to be fair. Sex can make things complicated sometimes. Like, if you if are friends for a long time and you decide, you know, you want to hook up or even have sex, if it happens, it happens. It brings you closer to the person. I mean, my friend that um, I've been friends with 10 plus years, I never thought, you know, I'd ever hook up with her. And the fact that we've kissed multiple times, um, we cuddle each other. I love kissing her, don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, I'd be lying to say, I, I want to see, like, what it'd be like to have one, like, one good time together. That'd be... I've always thought, man, would she be good? Would I be good? Like, I've always thought about that with her, but I don't know if I legit can have the drive anymore. Unlike some people, I don't need pills to get it up. So I'm quite happy about that. Um, but yeah. What's your plans for the future? Well, I don't have a future. Straight out. I'm only alive while my parents are alive. End of story. That's pretty much I'm going to sum it up on there. Growing up, did you want kids in marriage? I think marriage is a joke. First up. Number one, it's a piece of paper. And 
when I see people say they're married but they don't have a marriage license or marriage certificate, I laugh because you ain't fucking married. You can put marriage on your Facebook, Instagram, whatever. You can call each other husband and wife, but if you don't have a marriage certificate, you ain't married. So, and I think the problem is the way the rules work these days is unless you agree what's yours is what's yours, you lose half your shit. So you could be the guy busting your ass all your life, you know, buying houses, making money and shit, and your woman cheats on you and she's entitled to half. How's that fair? So that's why, you know, marriage was never on the topic, though with my fiance of six years, she changed my mind on that because I would have married her. I just didn't tell her that. Kids part, look, if, if I was with the right person, sure. With the person I was engaged to for six years, yes, I would have had kids. It would have calmed me down. I think it would have made me give me a reason for living. Um, but yeah, now it's just, you know, the world's too fucked. I wouldn't bring a kid into this world. And I certainly, with my health deteriorating mentally, my head, I, I wouldn't care if I died tomorrow, to be honest. I'd be a lot more happier. I, I would be at, at peace with myself. If you had the choice to eliminate one person in this world, who would it be? <laughs> oh, wow. One person in this world that's not famous. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? Do I really have to go there? It's obvious. I don't have to go there. Female is all I have to say. Um, is there anyone currently in the world that you wish was here? Yeah. I have a beautiful friend called Sky that I would legit be happy with for the rest of my life if she lived here. There is Kayla, there is Sav, there is, you know, Angelica, there is so many beautiful ladies that live in other parts of the world that I wish lived here because I know that I'd be happy you know I wish my friend that I met the other night hadn't seen her for a while was right here in my arms but it is life I'm destined to be lonely with minimum friends I'm destined to not have a relationship for the rest of my life I'm destined to have no kids it sounds pretty sad and lonely, I get that. But it's better off this way. It's better off me not being in a relationship, not having kids. Because when the day comes and my, both my parents go, when I do join them, I don't want to have anything connecting me to this earth anymore. I have things planned for when it, the day happens. Like I said, you know, most of my stuff will be sold and given to charity. Any money made will be given to charity. I've got the charities all down, so. But. I know I have a problem. That medication won't fix. Doctors won't fix. But. I've talked to my doctor about this too, by the way. He's very aware that, you know. He understands. And he said, to, even to me. You know. When you lose your parents. And you've got, you know, no one friends, family, kids it is hard to keep going it is hard to keep going you just don't have the motivation and the fact that I don't want to be in a retirement home one day you know, someone wiping my ass or helping me walk, I wouldn't want that so for me, it'd be the perfect way would be just I would go on my sleep, not wake up or, you know, I'd be just go to sleep in my car, listening to my favourite music, having a few drinks Nice and peaceful. You know, I hate when people hang themselves or overdose because it's like, you know if you hang yourself and it doesn't go right, you're going to have neck pain, you're going to have trauma to your brain, so you're screwed. And if you don't take enough medication, you just get really badly sick and it damages you. Whether it's you just go to sleep, you just go to sleep. You know what I mean? What is my favourite character of all time? I mean, is it obvious? Why so serious? The Joker, of course. Of course. It's got to be the Joker. 
And of course, you know, what's the Joker without his beautiful Harley Quinn? Come on, like, let's be honest. Like, that's... The story of the Joker and Harley Quinn is very, like, you know. What is your favourite movie of all time? I love Labyrinth. Ah, uh, that's my favourite movie of all time. David Bowie's Labyrinth. The fact that... Yeah, it's just the most amazing movie. Who was my favourite actor? Do, 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 do. Robert England, of course. Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger. Can't met the guy. Legend. Absolute legend. What is my favourite video game of all time? Ooh. Fuck, that's a tough one. I, of course, people would straight up go, oh, wrestling games. No, no, no. I like wrestling games, don't get me wrong. But I'd have to say Mortal Kombat. I love the original Mortal Kombat. Back in the days where it didn't have blood for certain countries, they turned off the blood. Uh, knowing that if you look at the original Mortal Kombat and they've actually got a remastered version of the original that they haven't released, my god, what a difference. Uh, my favourite Mortal Kombat? Ooh. I did like Mortal Kombat 9. I think that's when we had Freddy Krueger. But we didn't have Robert England's version. We had James L. So, But the story from Mortal Kombat 9 I really liked. I've got to admit that the, the costumes were amazing. And to be more fair, I think the costumes in Mortal Kombat 9 are better than MK1, the current Mortal Kombat. That's when Scorpion looked amazing. Sub-Zero looked amazing. Rain actually looked like rain. Smoke, you know. Katana. Sindel. Oh, yeah. If you ever want to know, my favourite female of all time is Sindel and Katana. Mother and daughter combo of Mortal Kombat. Oh, fuck yeah. The problem with the current Mortal Kombat is those two characters have like a big cleavage in the previous games. But because they had to tame it down a little bit with the clothing, um, very different. But as for male characters, I love Scorpion. Uh, every single game that I played in Mortal Kombat, I've passed it with Scorpion. I love his combo, especially when in Mortal Kombat 9, when you versus Shao Kahn with the big hammer. Ooh, man. It took me fucking an hour, maybe an hour and a half to pass that, that last level. But yeah, Scorpion for me, I love the, the, the story of St Scorpion. Um, yeah, Scorpion, definitely. Have I seen the current Deadpool? Well, how, come on, guys. Like, who the fuck would give me that question? Uh, yeah. It's apparently the number one grossing uh, R rated movie of all time. It's, yeah, it, that one with Deadpool 1 and 2, and believe it or not, Logan. Are the top 10 R-rated grossing movies of all time. So Deadpool's like number one or something. Deadpool Wolverine. And the other Deadpools were like four and five. Logan was about eight, nine. The, the fact that they made over a billion dollars like in marketing, it's just amazing. Just for a movie that is absolutely fucking funny. I, I love Ryan Reynolds, to be honest. I've seen Deadpool. And Green Lantern gets a lot of shit that he did, but it's Green Lantern, I didn't mind. I liked Ryan Reynolds in Van Wilder. I think that was fucking hilarious. I'd love to be Van Wilder for a day. All the chicks that won him, parties and stuff. That, that was cool. Will you grow old gracefully? Fuck no. I'm lucky I still have my hair. I've got no grey. I haven't aged. But I, like I said, goes back to a previous... Uh, thing in this vid where I, you know, without my parents, you know, I'm not going to grow older. Anyway, I was happy to die a couple of years ago after I lost my fiance. I was happy to go then. <clears throat> not much has changed. And my, and my partner knew, even when I was dating her, that I wasn't happy with life. I could win the cross lotto and be set for life with money and it still wouldn't make me happy. Because money can't bring back your parents when they're gone. Anyways, the, I've, I've answered, there's, there's too many uh, to answer here, but I've done the most recent ones that I could possibly. There's a lot there, like 
Um, what's your favourite thing for a girl to wear? But we've already answered that question in multiple vids. Um, your thoughts on transgender people? Uh, I'll just sum it up, you know. If you don't believe that you're born a man or a woman and you want to live your life as the other gender, you have every right to. You have every right to. I mean, I know a lot of men that were born men that have become females. They feel more attractive. They feel more happier than with themselves. And who are we to judge people if they want to be something else? As long as they're happy and makes them feel good, you know, you shouldn't judge people. And someone said to me, they liked my opinion on the clothing idea for the future. So my clothing idea for the future is, there'll never be a men's store or a women's store. There'll never be a men's clothing section or a female clothing section. Everyone will be able to wear whatever they want. So if a man wants to wear a skirt or bra or stockings or women's clothing, he can. If, uh, if a woman wants to wear men's clothing, she can. Like, that's that's what I can see happening in the future. Because, you know, we're, we're in a world right now where equal rights and we can't judge people for what they do. I can see it down the track that we are going to see men and women wearing each other's clothes and it'll just be a normal thing. And I don't really have a problem with that considering that uh, men wear kilts, which is equivalent to a skirt. Uh, in a lot of Polynesian countries, men wear the dresses and skirts and stuff there too. So I don't see it being a problem in the future. And a lot of bigger gentlemen that to have breasts have, wear bras. So I don't see it being a big deal in the future, honestly. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this vid. I'll have like other vids relating to me in the four corners of your screen. Like there's other vids like get to know me, why should you date me? And then that way it fills in some of the blanks in these uh in this video. So stay tuned for that. I don't know when this video will be posted because I have other ones that I'll upload first. So I think there's one of me singing a song, uh there's another version there's another thing. But check all my videos, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment you can comment now and yes you can give me some questions in the comments thing if you want to ask me some questions i'll tell them truthfully uh if you want to give me some ideas should i have intros to my videos um is there something you want me to discuss and um if you want to be a special guest on one of my videos i can arrange that i'll add you on facebook and we can have an interview one-on-one -on -one. so yeah stay tuned for some things to come talk to you soon